Hi, welcome. So we've got a question again from Circles. And let me quickly share my screen so that we can take the discussions ahead. Right, so here we are. And this is the question which we have. <clears throat> it says that ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. So it's a cyclic quadrilateral. That means all the four vertices of this quadrilateral will be lying on this circle somewhere. And there are two diagonals of this quadrilateral AC and BD. They, these are the diagonals. And then they have also given us some angles. And we need to then find out the angle BCD. Right? So as we've been doing in our early uh, you know, uh, questions, let's first get this diagram done on the circle so that we can move ahead. And I will now take it the quadrilateral A, B, C, and D, right? So let's name them A, B, C, and D, right? Now they're saying A, C, and B, D are the diagonals. So let's connect these diagonals, A with C, and we've got the diagonal A, C. Then we are also connecting, we are also connecting D with B. Yes. So the BD is the another diagonal. And now let's also form our quadrilateral, which we are talking about. So this is AB, then I'm connecting B with C, and that's like BC. And now I'm connecting D with C. So that's CD. And finally, here we have got. A, D. So now we are able to have, you know, if we are able to see this uh, quadrilateral, which is A, B, C, D, right? A, B, C, D quadrilateral we have formed. And we have also two diagonals, A, C, and B, D. Now, in this question, what they're saying is that angle D, B, C is equal to 55 degrees. Now, angle D, B and then C. So that means this one is 55 degree, right? So that's what it is. And now they're saying angle B, A, C, B, A, C is also given there and that is 45 degree. So this means this one is 45 degree, right? Now, what we need to find out is the angle B, C. So let's also mark angle B, C, D. So that means B, then C, and then D. So what we need to find out is this complete angle, right? This is what we need to find out. Now, uh, we are going to use a theorem here, which is uh, already used a lot in the previous videos and the previous questions, which you must have seen. And that says that any, any chord, right? Any chord makes only equal angles, or rather, I would say, you know, all the angles, all the angles. by a chord on the same segment on the same segment of the circle same segment of the circle are equal right so let's again understand this, though we have been explaining this in the previous videos as well. Um, but I'll just explain it here. Suppose we are talking about the chord BC. Now this particular chord is making two angles on the same side of the segment. And one angle is this, you know, because this is one line which is coming from B until here. And from here it gets connected with C. So this particular chord is subtending this angle on the segment of the circle. Similarly, 
this chord BC is also subtending this angle. So, which means, as per this theorem, it means that this angle will always be equal to this angle. Right? Now, we need to find this angle out. So, what we can clearly see is that with the help of this theorem, with the help of this theorem, we already know that angle angle C A B angle C A B is equal to angle B D C and that's equal to 45 degree and the reason is that they are they are same segment same segment angles right so it's very simple you know once we have the understanding of this theorem it's absolutely simple and uh, there are many more questions which are you know uh, which are using this particular theorem i also have a video there on my page you can have a look at it wherein we are proving this theorem also right and if you guys have any of the doubts please feel free to put it in the comment box let me know and i'll be coming up with your solution right now we got that this angle is 45 degree. Now it is very simple. We will observe the angle D, B, D, B, and then C, right? So if we see this angle D, B, C, we, we can say that, you know, angle B, D, C plus angle D, B, C, plus angle DCB, right? Which are basically three different angles of the triangle. And the sum of all the three angles of a triangle of any triangle is always 180 degree. So we can use this equation here and we, we will now simply put the values. So the value of angle BDC is 45 degree, which we just calculated. And we'll write angle DBC is 55 degree. And this is what we need to find out angle DCB. And that's like 180 degree coming again. Now, with the simple simplification, we, you know, um, the algebraic simplifications, and we can simply write angle DCB is finally is equal to 180 degree minus 180 degree degree and that's equal to 80 degree right so we can say that this angle is 80 degree right so we have solved this question and i hope you all uh, understood it liked it and in case you have any doubts or something you can always feel you know drop it into in the comment box and i'll be coming up with the solution for your doubts and clarifications. Thank you so much. Have a nice day and bye-bye.